distinguished uh, guests, uh, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, it is uh, with great pleasure that I welcome you to the Presidential Palace for the celebration of the Third International Investments Award organized by the Cyprus Investment Promotion Agency and Gold Markets. This event provides us with the opportunity to honor extroversion and investment. The companies and individuals who believed, trusted and invested in Cyprus and to express our deepest appreciation and gratitude to all of you who have chosen Cyprus as a base for your business activities. At the same time, I could not but raise it and express my government's sincere appreciation to its efforts and hard work in contributing to Cyprus recovery, restoring, conf restoring confidence in the economy and promoting Cyprus as an attractive destination for foreign investors. Thank you all for your presence here tonight. Dear friends, today, a year and a half since uh, the Memorandum of Understanding was signed by the Troika, I feel obliged to remind that, remind that my government, as had, as had promised, sorry, has so far demonstrated full commitment and compliance with the terms and provisions of its economic adjustment program. This is widely acknowledged and evident through Cyprus' four previous impeccable records of positive reviews and would not have been made possible without the individual and collective sacrifices endured by all segments of our society and the responsible attitude demonstrated by the social and professional organizations of our country. It is for these exact reasons that I once more call on every one involved to realize the imperative need to maintain our unity and solidarity in satisfying the requirements of the program. I do hope that we will be able to overcome the current critical juncture we have reached not only through the efforts that the government is undertaking towards this cause, but, and most importantly, through appreciating that the only way for our country's bailout exit from Troika's program to take place sooner than uh, predicted is via our compliance and implementation of the relevant provisions of the program, while at the same time, as we have proven, safeguarding the interest of the vulnerable groups of the society. In this respect, I wish to emphasize that it is anticipated that our bailout exit can take place earlier than initially expected. This is a path we should not derail from. Dear friends, Cyprus economy is a slowly but steadily recovering, as proven by the so far positive assessments so far by Troika. The upgrading of the country's economy outlook by international credit rating agencies, the prudent management of public finances and the country's return to international markets after a three-year exclusion. Moreover, Cyprus banking system is already much stronger than it was a year ago. Banks have been recapitalized mainly through international investors. Restructuring plans are at an advanced stage of implementation, while supervision and oversight have improved significantly, leading the banking system to a more efficient functioning. Stability is returning, but without doubt, it will take time and effort for confidence to be fully restored. As such emphasis is now shifting to proceeding with much needed structural reforms, and the government is already in the process of reforming the public sector 
the welfare and health care system, tax administration, and public finance management systems. At the same time, one of the most important priorities of the government is to promote growth through, amongst others, offering favorable incentives for existing or new companies doing business in Cyprus, encouraging foreign investments, increasing Cyprus competitiveness and creating a more effective and business-friendly environment, particularly through the simplification of administrative procedures. The government's role is not to substitute businesses, but to create optimal conditions for businesses to flourish by eliminating internal barriers, bureaucratic uh, dysfunctions and distortions that halt or hamper growth. <laughs> and I would like to assure you that the government of Cyprus will exert its utmost efforts to support and facilitate your efforts in enhancing your investments and business operations. Our determination and commitment towards this goal is evident through today's decision of the Ministerial Council, which provides for the public sector reform and the development and growth policy strategy to be undertaken by the Presidency itself and specifically by the Deputy Minister to the President, Mr. Konstantinos Petridis. The above-mentioned reforms are combined with an ambitious privatization program that we consider as vital and necessary, and which we believe will attract sound and sizable foreign investments. It is through these reforms that we aim to create solid, solid foundations for a more multi-dimensional and viable economic model for Cyprus. In addition, new sectors of economy, economic activity are emerging. The energy sector is a strategically important multi-billion project, not only through the discovery of offshore natural gas, but also through the renewable energy sector, especially that of solar energy. Promising opportunities for growth also exist across many other sectors, such as shipping, tourism, larger scale development projects, education, health, research and innovation. Further, the procedures for the licensing and operation of an integrated casino resort are underway and already investor interest has been being registered. Dear friends, your contribution to the government's efforts to demonstrate that we are well equipped, determined and able to overcome the challenges which is ahead is vital. We consider you to be our best ambassadors in conveying to international clients and businesses all the measures and decisions adopted by the government towards encouraging foreign investment and promoting growth. As such, it is of paramount importance to demonstrate the overall advantages that Cyprus has to offer to international businesses and especially to underline that these have not been undermined by the financial crisis. This can be conveyed through the country's following attributes. A. Almost 52 double tax treaties in force. B. A steady increase in the company's register over the past six months see a highly qualified and professional workforce, the, a fully EU harmonized tax and legal system, and uh, e, one of the lowest and most competitive uh, co corporate tax rates in Europe at 12.5%, making it an attractive investment destination and a highly competitive center for international businesses, offering them a platform for their operation and preferential access to markets like Europe, Middle East, North Africa, Russia, China and India and Asia in general. Distinguished friends, the prospects of Cyprus remain bright. We acknowledge the difficulties, but we have a plan and we are implementing it. We are convinced that with the right measures 
and the cooperation of a more business-friendly state, we will succeed and we will pave the way for greater growth, both for you and for our country and its people. The challenge is for all of us, not the government, but the parties as well. My government, dear friends, will offer you all assistance deemed necessary towards this shared goal and will facilitate and accommodate any feasible businesses and investment ideas put forward by you all. I would like to once more thank you all for your positive contribution, but mostly for your trust and faith in Cyprus and congratulate the, organizer, the organizers for this wonderful event. Last but not least, I would like to warmly congratulate all seven companies that are being honored today for their contribution and commitment to the Cyprus economy. And of course, my dear friend, Mr. Zakeos, for his lifelong contribution to his country. Thank you very much.